Alrighty. Right. Okay. Gain is sorted. Door is shut. <laughs> My tongue feels like sandpaper. <laughs> oh, the beauty of messing around on a microphone. Alrighty. Testing, testing. One, two. You're lucky, Mum. I wasn't record. Oh, hey there. <laughs> hey, how's it going, buddy? Oh, how you doing? Yeah, it's good to see you. It's good, really good to see you. Come in, come in. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's just so good to see you, you know, just in the flesh, you know, just right right here beside me. You know, not just in the comments. Yeah, of course I remember you. You sent that really nice comment on my last video. You know, I never got to properly thank you for that. I mean, yeah, it's just a comment, but... I don't know, they, they can really make my day, you know? Really, really... I really, really appreciate them. You know, knowing that I have a fan base behind what I do and loving my content for what it is really encourages me to keep going, you know? Keep doing it because, you know, it's... I, lo I love it and, you know, I'm getting recognition for it. So it's a win-win in my back. It's a win... <laughs> Sorry. Eng English is not my strong suit sometimes. Uh, but... <laughs> You know, I'm I'm getting I'm getting noticed for it. And yeah, it gets tiring sometimes. Though to be though in all fairness, I am a fairly motivated person, thankfully. So yeah, that does help with consistency. <laughs> but it is needed from even the least of motivated of peoples. It's it's definitely it's definitely like it's necessary. And on also just another thing, uh, when when I'm actually uh, in the moment of recording, I actually get, I kind of get in this zone where my mind is solely focused on the lines that I'm reading. And you know, the outside world, it kind of, it kind of fades away into nothingness. You know what I mean? And then when I'm finally done, then it all becomes clear, clear again. I was like, I'm back to reality, you know? Back to life, back to reality. <laughs> I, I make some re references a lot, but you know, it's like when I'm recording, nothing else matters. You know, when you're in that moment, when you're in the recording, when you're speaking the lines. But yeah, this is my recording space. It's nothing special. I mean, it is just my room after all. Though it is full of soft. Though I'll tell you what, it is full of not fot. I'll tell tell you what though, it's full of soft noise-proof surfaces. It's just my bed, curtains, and the clothes strewn about the place. That also helps. <laughs> but then there's the recording itself. My mic does have a few peaking issues, so the trick is to be quieter into the mic a bit like this. Well, maybe don't overcompensate it as slightly, but, you know, you get what I mean. <laughs> but other than that, the only thing I'd say is just be yourself. Yeah, I know, you see all these YouTubers trying to do impressions of certain characters and managing to nail them. And, you know, it's, it's super cool and all that. But honestly, for me, it's the, emotional it's, the emo it's the emotional integrity that is the most important part when playing a character. Making the character your own, you know? Give the voice something original to compare it to, to compare to the original, you know? So an original spin on an original voice to compare to the original. You know, to make it original. <laughs> but seriously, that's what voice acting is about. Being creative with your choices, trying new things, because honestly, despite what people may have you believe, not everything has been done out there. There's always a new way you can interpret something and make it unique. And if you can do that, then you, my friend, are the definition of timeless. And I feel the same applies to narration, to be honest, which was actually what I'm doing uh, whilst you, whilst you, wh wh before I was pleasantly interrupted, let's say. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, with narration, like, everyone has a different voice anyway, so already, like, narration itself is unique amongst other people. That did not make any sense, I do apologise, but, um... 
but you know what? It, but you know what I mean. Like everyone is kind of like everyone has a unique kind of narrating style. But at the same time, there are things you can do to make the narration more engaging, such as like something I always try to do is I let my narration always try to carry the story. You know, let let how I am te- let how I am telling let how I am telling it determine what is going on in the story. Not just in the words, but you know the intensity and pacing. Ask yourself, what is going on in the scene? Is it a tense battle or a soothing romantic situation? Once I've gotten that process in my brain, I can break it down into chunks so I can deliver each take as perfectly as possible. Hey, I just thought, would you like a demonstration? Bit of behind the scenes for you and you alone to have access to? <laughs> Sounds cool. Right, let me just get us out first, so... um. Right, so, um, well, my audio, well, my audio, because I was recording beforehand before, but obviously, well, obviously, you know, I was recording because I was interrupted, but, you know, I can't speak today, help me. Uh, but, yeah, but, like, audio levels are fine, setup is fine. Right, all I have to do is press record. Right, let's go. I can edit out my dialogue, don't worry. <laughs> Just tr- try to be quiet for me, if you don't mind. The one thing I will say. Okay. Okay, right. Um, here we go. The crackling fireplace. The pink... Damn notifications. <laughs> Just... If I, I don't think it even registered, but it just really put me off. Um, okay, right. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <sighs> the crackling fireplace, the pink rose petals scattered across a. Sc- <laughs> <laughs> Just first line and already I've messed up. The crackling fireplace, the pink rose petals scattered across a. C- scattered across a scarlet carpet, the golden record player and golden red couch displaying the room with pleasing colour coordination. The curtains are shut, obscuring the dark, cold night, also made of a soft fabric that would send pleasing shivers down your spine were your fingers ever to make contact with them. The aforementioned couch is illuminated by the warm glow of the fire, with pink cushions in the shape of love hearts. The darkness of the room should be overwhelming, but instead, it is an atmosphere of intimacy and romance. Your headspace clears somewhat upon it. Damn it! Your headspace clears somewhat upon entering, though the anxious thoughts of being in a new, unfamiliar land still plague your mind, not two weeks removed from from arriving in Equestria. I'm going to try that again. Your headspace clears somewhat upon entering, though the anxious thoughts of being in a new, unfamiliar land still plague your mind. Not two weeks removed from arriving in Equestria, but a smile crooped. God damn it. I don't, I don't, hey, maybe it's the pressure of an audience, you know, maybe that's why, (laughs) you know, you just stop, stop looking at me, just turn away, turn away, like, I, I know I'm very, I know I'm quite nice to look at, like, I mean, come on, I mean, come on, who, who would want to, who would, who on earth would, stray their we- their eyes away from this beautiful hunk. I did not say that in a smooth way whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh god, maybe I'm just a bit too hyper, you know. Maybe I'm just a bit too- I've prepared myself too much if that makes any sense. But a smile creeps onto your face when you see a pink, pony-shaped silhouette sitting in front of the fireplace. Your mind does not need to put two and two together to realise who that pony is. Princess Cadence has her back turned to you, a shadow casted over her, with the accompaniment of soft, feminine crying. She's crying hard, but you sense that her tears aren't completely flowing. It's almost as if she is resisting the urge to cry trying to be strong, even when she only has herself to cry to. Whatever the case, 
you know she is not all right. You have your suspicions as to why. The light of the fire is only partially covered by her delicate figure. It illuminates her, left revealing a large empty space, big enough for someone to sit next to her. Just scroll down a little bit here. <clears throat> Your mind, your mind, your mind starts to flash back. Your mind starts to flash back to first arriving in Equestria, when you first talked to the Pink Mare. Her wisdom and bubbly personality stuck with you immediately, as did her touch. Her mane was as soft as silk, but her smooth. You brace yourself, as she makes an effort to speak. <laughs> There's a lot more to it than that, but honest, honestly, I need I need to get I need to wait for um, the other person. I've actually got a I've actually got a voice actor a voice actress doing lines for this, so I'll need I'll need to wait for her lines to come back. But I think I might I think that's enough for now. Do you reckon? Yeah, I can see you're a little bit. I can see it nearly put you to sleep. I must say. Come on, let's. I just hate ignoring people when I have a guest. I hate making people feel ignored. Okay, okay, look. At least you aren't as bad as my dogs, who beg for it freaking 24-7. I'm not joking. <laughs> I am not joking. But in any case... How are things going with you, by the way? Like, I just... How are you? Like, how are you really? You know? Lay it on me, pal. Oh. Not... Sp Brilliant, I see. Well, I'm I'm sorry to hear. Oh, bro, I can bro, I can so relate to lack of sleep. Okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ, like I don't know what it is, but just my brain goes to such a weird, dark, negative place when I'm sleeping. I don't know what it is, like just all these thoughts just welling up about how I come across to others. You know, is my content good enough? You know, all the, all these all these negative thoughts that just always come when I'm sleeping. I don't know why. It's just like, and they keep me up at night. And it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's just difficult. You know. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's hard to believe, but even I have insecurities about myself. <laughs> look, 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 look. Even if I am super confident and bubbly and, well, kind, as, as you claim, which is very sweet of you, don't get me wrong, thank you. It's just sometimes I feel like I don't deserve the support I get. You may have seen it from, like, the odd upset venting community post or how I might seem off, off one video and then full of energy the next. But I guess so much about what my subscribers think of my content. Sometimes I don't know how they feel about my channel because honestly, they don't. <laughs> no one knows the real me. You know, they see the YouTuber, the reactor, the singer. They see this personality that I've come together, which, yeah, it's mostly just me being myself. But <sighs> sometimes I wonder what would happen if they understood who Little Owl really was, you know? I may do YouTube, but I have a life outside of it, and it doesn't just apply to me. I mean, it's so rare, even nowadays, for people to make their living off of YouTube, you know? Yeah, like I said, like I said, even if it is becoming, like, more mainstream to actually look like YouTube is actually a genuine career, but, you know, it's it's definitely difficult. It's definitely very, very difficult to do, I will say. But, okay, put it this way. What do you like doing when you aren't surfing the web? When you aren't watching crappy videos? <laughs> when you aren't watching... When you aren't, like, surfing the internet, doing anything, going on Twitter, like... If you aren't on the internet, okay, what do you like doing? Tell me. And it could be anything. I, I will not judge you. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, I actually have, do you know what? I actually have a friend who's into that, you know? I'll definitely tell her about you. Oh my god, no way. No way. You do that as well. 
Guess you learn something. Guess you learn something new every day. But do you see what I mean? I don't think I'd ever get that from just your profile pic or what you comment on my videos. You know that that is such a cool, fascinating side that honestly makes me feel honoured you are able to open up to me about it. It's why I want to spend time talking to every single one of my subscribers. I want to get to know the real them and actually become friends with them, you know? Because, you know, honestly, I have this mentality that kind of every single person is different. Yeah, we may have similar interests and certain personality traits that interlink. I mean, but it's all a spectrum, you know? Think of it this way. Like, like with my autism, like, I... Some, I have some elements of my autism, which is kind of like, it, it affects me more, more times than it does others, you know, I have more, I have some elements, but also there are elements that kind of make me not as auti autistic, like, for example, like, I'm actually much more com confident than most autists, granted that wasn't the case a few years ago, but the same applies, but anyway, like, the same applies to kind of like, interests and like, personality, we may have similar interests, certain personality traits, they all link, link, ink, but think of it this way. If you had two people who like the same movie, have the same favourite ice cream flavour, same colour hair, same body type, whatever, I guarantee you they will still have a small, a minute, even if it's my, even if it's tiny, a minute detail about them that is slightly, ever so slightly, different. Even if it's the littlest thing, it's still a difference. Those two people, those two people, have new things to discover about each other. Even if they've known each other for, for for ages, you know, or if they know like everything there is to is there is to know about that other person. <sighs> it's just what makes the world so bloody worthwhile, you know, for me anyway. I love meeting new people, even if, I, even if I do, like, feel exhausted after long periods of conversation, such as my introverted persona. But everyone I come across absolutely fascinates me for the little things that are different and what they can teach me. It's what gets me up in the morning, you know? And that excitement of learning something new and making those new friends that you imagine a future with. You know, mate, a bit like you, you know, matey, you know? I, like, I know I've only known you and talked to you in the flesh, like, physically for a very short time, but already I've found out a lot of things to like about you, you know? I'm being serious. Oh, you're playing the modesty card. Of course you're playing the modesty card. Why would you do that to me? Because it's true, but, buds, listen... Your kindness, your energy, your honesty. All of these aspects I look for and admire about a, about a human being. And you know what? The minute you walked in and interrupted me, I just had the biggest smile on my face. Don't worry, I'm not simping over you or anything. <laughs> Genuinely, look at this expression. Look at it. I can't. I, I, I cannot put into words just how amazing I think you are. Okay? I, ca I can't... I can't speak. It's that incredible. Okay? I can't... I can't get the words out, so believe it, okay? I'm speechless to describe it. You make me speechless. Okay? That's how amazing you are, so believe it, okay? But, <laughs> seriously, dude, dude, just... I do care about you, you know? I really do care about you. Even if I have 1,000 people following me, I still have my favourites, you know? Some who return my efforts to try and connect with them, you know? People who actually take my kindness and actually appreciate it. Because, let's be honest... You've probably heard this before, and it's probably super cringy and super cliche, but you are not defined by the size of your channel or the support that you have. Because at the end of the day, you are you. Okay? You are faithful 
to yourself. The kindness and support you show to others is something I genuinely admire. You inspire me to keep going. To keep being myself. You have so much love to give. And now it's time you started directing that towards yourself. Because you deserve it. Okay? No matter how many subs you have, you will always be my equal. Because this whole journey through YouTube, through life, it's one we're taking together. Because, (laughs) especially the whole YouTube thing, because that is not easy, as people think it is. Seriously, it is not. Absolutely not. Just, um, my brain, just thinking about it just makes me exhausted. Like, my brain just constantly flowing just try, trying to think think out new ideas for content, new ways of entertaining and inspiring, but then again, sometimes it's completely out of my control. Yes, it requires a lot of hard work, but also sheer dumb luck, if you can believe it. I mean, with everything, with the algorithm and the trends on the internet constantly changing, it can, it can be quite hard to adapt, and it causes me a lot of sleepless nights, I tell you. But one thing I'm not is alone. I could never dream of getting as far as I have without the overwhelming support I've gotten. Not to mention a few shoutouts from big YouTubers. Oh my god. My heart was racing when I saw Victor Tanz's community post, I swear. But, like, my point is, I did not get here on my own. And the more I grow as a YouTuber, and as a person as well, I will still need people to watch my content. To give me the views, to um, subs, not to, uh, views and subs, to not to increase my standing, but also my motivation to keep making content, as I mentioned. Look, even though I'm scared of doing it alone, I'm not scared to lean on other people when I need it. Not everyone, though, because that'd be mooching. Yeah, you're you're probably wondering why. I'm telling you this. Well, simple, really. I want to be completely honest with everyone I meet. I quite honestly don't see any reason to not be completely honest with people. Maybe that's just my autism, but... You know know those moments where you feel like you're about to say something, but just can't get it out? And the minute I mention that I have autism as well, like... That's just such unfortunate timing. (laughs) That's just coincidence. But in all seriousness, I just try to be open and honest with everyone, okay? Yeah, I do have boundaries, but I'll always resort to showing kindness first, whether they like it or not. It's not my responsibility, but it's helped me make great friends like you, and so can't say I'm complaining with the way that I am. (laughs) But at the same time, kindness is something that needs to be received to be acknowledged, I feel. Like, there are people who don't accept my kindness, as I mentioned, and... Do you know, some actually take it as far as to... take advantage of me, because I'm so kind, you know? Like, they're just... I'm sorry, I'm so... I'm sorry, I'm just... Honestly, they're just... Times when I wish the world was kinder than what it is. But not everybody is awful. As Murray Franklin said in Joker, not everybody, and I tell you, not everybody is awful. (laughs) The people that take that kindness to heart and see me as a good person as a result of it are those that are truly worth it. Yeah, it sucks just how much effort you need to go through just to find those people. I mean, sometimes it's the people you wouldn't expect, believe it or not, but... From the minute I met you, I saw something special about you. A warm aura, a soul, pure and as beautiful as a diamond. Look, I know you don't see it sometimes, but just this once, believe me, it is true. Okay? Alright, put it this way. 
if you thought you weren't a kind person, then why would you have so many people say you were? I mean, they can't all be liars. I mean, you, do you think I'm a liar? I mean, if you do, I, I'd be terribly offended, but <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, bro. I'm kidding. Yeah, I know. I haven't met, actually met any of your IRL fr friends, and so I don't know the kind of things they do say about you, but I'm one of those people that automatically tries to see the good in others. We listen to two voices in, 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 in as human beings. My brain, like, for me, my brain thinks that it is that it is unhealthy, as I tend to trust people a bit too easily. But you know that already. God, God, I sound like a broken record right now. But then there's my heart, who just does not give a toss, you know? <laughs> yeah, I tend to listen to that more, because it's, it's more pleasant for everyone. Like, if you just go out there, show kindness to people. Like, people need a bit of kindness, you know? I'm sounding a bit ditzy saying that, but it's just for me to get if for me to get the most out of life. Because honestly, when I'm kind to people, I get such an adrenaline rush. You know, you know how like some people when they just like when they're watching a movie and they get like like from like an action scene or something like that. That kind of adrenaline rush. I get that from being kind to people, seeing them like say, just like a quick thank you or stuff like that. It just really really just it, it just gets me there and i just feel so so pumped afterwards you know it's uh. <laughs> yeah i'm probably not getting through to you but you should know what i mean uh like um just it just helps me get the most out of life you know putting a smile on one's face is enough to get me through the day you know like everyone has different things that get them up in the morning for me it's making others happy it just makes me, it makes me feel good about myself. That's why I do what I do. That's why I can't see myself doing a career change anytime soon. Like, through, like, YouTube and stuff, this is how I make others happy. This is my path. I know, there'll be twists and turns. But I'm willing to face them head on, as I will come out the other side, having hopefully made... At least one person happy. Like, if I can make one person happy, then I'm fine. Because just that smile, that thank you, it's a feeling like any, unlike any other. Like, it's just a, it's just a boiling kind of warm feeling, you know? When, you, when someone genuinely enjoys your presence in their life. Like, I'm a, like I said, I'm an adrenaline junkie to that kind of thing. As cringy as that sounds, like... But, okay, do you want to know what the best part is? It's so easy. You don't even, you don't even, like, especially for someone like you, like, you don't even need to do extraordinary acts of kindness. Like, you see those good Samaritans on YouTube, you know, those, you know, those, like, compilations of, like, people who will restore your faith in humanity. <laughs> yeah, I love those. Um, oh, I'm glad you like those as well. Yeah, those, those, are, those are fun. But just... Being who you are is enough sometimes when it comes to, um, when it comes to just being kind, you know, just once in a while, just taking in a breath and just thinking to yourself, you know what, I'm going to tell that person to have a great day or how nice their new haircut looks. <laughs> Terrible example, I know, but well, good thing for you, <laughs> that kind of thing seems to come naturally, to be honest. You know, it's a... Yeah, of course. Like I, like I said, it's like it's, it's someone everyone should do, but some can do it easier than others. I feel, and you're one of them. You know, it's it's a gift for you. Just, just how you're able to make someone feel so good about yourself. How good about themselves? Sorry, I can't speak. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm fine. I, 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 like, every time, every time I think I don't stumble, I just, I end up stumbling. Thank you. So, um, <laughs> I don't have a speech impediment, but I do have a kind of difficulty with, um, my brain is quite slow sometimes when it comes, especially when it comes to speech. But, um, yeah, I'm going on a tangent, but honestly, just that gift, use that, you know, use it to your fullest advantage. 
Take pride in it. Love yourself for your ability to let others love themselves, you know? Because that's what it is. It's making people feel good about themselves. And just think about how, when you do it, think about, like, okay, when you compliment someone, like I said, just, like, or, like, be lovely to someone. Just take a look at yourself and think just how effortless that is. Because I can just see you being kind to someone without breaking a sweat. Honestly. Just, you're a lovely person inside and out by just being you. See yourself how others see you, you know? Be the absolutely amazeballs human being that you truly are, even if you don't see it sometimes. Hopefully I've made my point clear now. I mean, I do tend to repeat myself, but look, even if you don't take it in this time, I'll still be here to tell it to you a second or a third or a fourth time. If you are still unable to convince yourself, and I will stop, I will only stop. If you're still, okay, if you're only, if you are still unable to convince yourself, then I will only stop, I will only stop once you open your eyes like, wider than they already are. See the kind of person that you are. Honestly, it's a per a person that anyone would kill to be. A person I would kill to be. Because that's what a friend does. Friends are there for one another. And yes, I did say friend. Why? What do you mean, why? Because you... Because you are a friend, silly. And I'll always be your friend. Because... You've helped me with my own self-doubts as a compromise. Even though I'd still be your friend without any payment necessary. But promise me one thing here, buddy. Never change who you are. There is nothing more admirable in a human being than someone who commits to being who they are taking pride in everything about themselves, And it's something that you should try. Because otherwise, I'd be pretty sad not having someone like you in my life.